Hey everyone, welcome back, and today we're going over part two of the Vanos rebuild. That entails everything on the engine side. Let's get right to it. Now we're moving on to the anti-rattle kit for the cogs here. When you remove all these bolts, it's smart to put a rag here and catch them because if they drop down the timing cover, you're going to have to tear apart the lower part of the motor to get to them. It's just a precaution you take so you don't have any issues. This is part of the chatter issue we're about to attempt fixing. Add a little shim kit and you have to sand it down to the right clearance. Once the cam hubs are removed, we are going to actually come in here and replace each cam sprocket bolt individually, but we only want to do it one at a time so we don't lose the position. So with the first bolt removed, you'll notice a key difference here. The old ones are hex head, where the new ones are Torx. are secure. We want to relieve the tension in the chain. Pull all the sprockets off and install our new chain guide. With the crankshaft chain tension removed, we'll now be able to have enough slack to pull out the sprocket. This is where marking comes in super crucial. Where it gets reinstalled in the exact same position. So you can see that upper chain guide is now exposed. Now loosen the bolt for it. Uh -huh. And take the old one out. In order to remove it, you do have to use a 10 millimeter hex bit. That's why we replace it right there. So now we're gonna install this nice brand new one back in the same position and everything will be good. Pay careful attention to make sure the chain guide is on the top of the tension. So we're just replacing the spring plate here in the sprocket. Obviously you can see the wear marks on this one. We're gonna do a brand new OEM one. And then this is the spring itself. You know, any spring steel is gonna wear out over time. While we're in here, replace it. It goes in cup side down. That has these nice little tabs that sit in. That's where it goes. Oh, 
we'll reinstall the hubs here, just finger tight with the brand new bolts while we go and install the anti-rattling kit. Then we'll come back and tighten these. The next thing for us to do is remove this plate. In order to do that, we have a specialty tool designed for it that will slide in there like that and fit into those holes, which we'll then use an impact on, and the plate will come free. see that the stock bearing is grooved, but our new one is nice and smooth, but also obviously not worn. Outside retainer first, all the way down to the bottom, bottom thrust washer, bearing, drive unit, bearing, thrust washer. Should sit nice and flush all in there, and then you put the cap down. So we actually ended up needing this to spin freely. On this first tighten down, we did have some binding. So what that means is we need to take the new washers and sand them down a little bit at a time and reinstall them until we get a point where it spins freely. And then we know we're good to reinstall it. Now this one is good. We repeat the same for the next one. So unlike the removal, you're actually gonna assemble everything and install it as one piece. Reminder that these are reverse threaded. Now that we have the balance unit fully reassembled, the next thing to do is put it back in, as well as change the oil feed line. And of course, before it gets installed, we cannot forget our brand new Vanos ceiling plate. Now, as we mentioned early on, the factory hard line is prone to cracking, so we replace it with a stainless steel one that also has the heat shielding and an additional mounting tab. Make sure to align the oil pump disc and you should get a nice slide in. Finish securing the Vanus unit. That way you'll be able to release your cam lock tool, spin the hubs, and finally tighten these bolts down. Just plug it on. Most stainless steel Vanos lines are going to include two of these clamps. You're going to install this one on this bolt of the Vanos unit. Finish checking the tightness on everything. So now Dax is marking everything he does have tight before we rotate the engine. That way we don't lose track of exactly what's already tight and what isn't. And then we'll do that once again to recheck the tightness on every single bolt. With the entire Vanos unit secured, we now just reinstall a brand new upper chain guide and then 
the valve cover goes back on and the job is done now as part of reversing the valve cover removal in other words installing the valve cover again we're gonna make sure we prep this surface nicely get rid of all the residue we're gonna add some RTV on the seals here to ensure there's no oil leaks and then reinstall the cover with all new grommets and an all new gasket. So other than replacing the other components that we have for this car, that completes the Vanos rebuild here at Group 2. We're now going to go over to the rear subframe and get that job started. And with that said, please like, comment, subscribe, share the videos with your friends, and thanks for sticking around and watching us do the Vanos rebuild. Mm -hmm.